busting, but it don't look so good. Well, she had her third surgery, and the fourth surgery, and the fifth surgery, and uh, after a while, she was gone back to God, the God that took brought her here in the first place. And I'd walk through my house, a depressed man, a defeated man, walking and saying, Lord, how is it that you took her away from me? But God said to me, he said, uh, he said to me, he said, I raised her up five times. What more did you want me to do? Oh, he's able, I tell you. God is able. He's able, I tell you. He's able to do the impossible. So I'm here and I'm closing out just to let you know whatever it is that you're going through, all you got to do is trust God, trust Him, and never doubt Him. He will surely bring you out. The Lord is a way maker. The Lord is a healer. The Lord is a healer. He's a healer. The Lord will make the way for you. I've watched so many of you, so many of you, sometimes will get sick, but count you out, but the Lord will make a way for you. Won't he do it, Sister Brown? Won't he make a way for you? Won't he do it, Brother Berkeley? Won't he make a way for you? Won't he do it, Deacon Mama? Won't he make a way for you? Won't he do it, Deacon Sister? Oh, I know he will. Won't he do it, Brother Dave? Won't he make a way for you? Hey! God will make a way out of no way. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hold up. Hold up. In spite of your difficulties, God will make a way. He'll make a way. He'll make a way. Make it a way right now. You just haven't been notified yet. Amen. The doors of the church are open. I thank the Lord. I have some history in this church. A lot of the travels that I used to take, I would take with a fellow that maybe one or two of you might remember. They called him Robert I. Brown. <laughs> yeah, well, one or two of you might remember. <laughs> yeah, we traveled going off to conferences and conventions and all. And I thank the Lord that uh, we shared some of those conferences. <laughs> Amen. And then, one other thing. I know that sometimes people will tell you that your time has come. But don't fool around and believe what people say. You check with God and wait on Him. Because He's not through with you. He's not through with you. The doors of the church are open. The doors of the church are open. I just leave you with a word in song, if that's all right.
I know this about him. I know that about him. Everybody you know has an ungodly past. Everybody. So how can you be a judge? Tell me. A little hard 
head. <laughs> yeah, little hard head. They called him Frankie. Yeah, they called him Frankie. And I'm so thankful that when he got into some trouble and got hurt with his eye, his daddy called him. Preacher, he said, we're going to have to pray. Please pray for my son. He prayed for Frankie. So I'm connected in a lot of ways to a lot. I'm looking at the different connections. And I see a fella sitting in the back who was the greatest running back, other than Mike Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> other than Mike Lewis. <laughs> Yeah, preacher's kid. Yeah, he's sitting back there in the back. He's trying to be, you know, yeah, cool. I told him he can still run around the right end. He told me, he said, uh-uh. He said, I got one more year before I get my Medicaid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. See so many of you that I have a little bit of history with. Hey, man, it's good to see. It's good to fellowship. My sister right here, amen. I go to see Reverend Morton, amen. She'd be coming out of there, and boy, I tell you, by the time we went to minister to Reverend Morton, by the time she got through talking about Jesus, we was all ready to throw our hat in. <laughs> amen. God bless you. Yeah, you warmed our hearts. Bless you. Now, Zion. Watch out 
for your pastor. Amen. Now, I'm, I'm getting a little old, but I still got a 21 year old strong enough to handle things for me. So be careful how you treat them. Always respect them. What you hear today, that's when wisdom and knowledge come together for the word. That was an amazing. An on time powerful message. Yes. And I hope that Central, I hope that Mount Zion, I hope that other visiting congregations took heed to every word that he said. Amen. You're never too old to do the work of God. Amen. You're never too old to stop serving. You do it until you can't do it anymore. Amen. And in this church, we have so many spinning and shining examples of what that means. So God bless you all. Take care. And again, take care.
Savior Jesus Christ be with you and upon you. May his mercy rule your life. Continue. May his blood continue to wash us all and get us ready to meet him when he comes again. Father, bless us as we leave this place and go with us. If we have to travel, God, send your angels down the highway to move hurt, harm, and danger so that we can make a, an appropriate uh, destination and then bring us back home in Jesus' name till we meet them again. And now, we're going to say together, boom.